Hey guys, I'm Nexi and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you my review of the second generation of the smart Xiaomi robot vacuum cleaner, also known as a Roborock S50. Stay tuned, this will be fun. I have this vacuum cleaner for more than 3 months and I order it mostly for my wife which is pregnant and let me tell you that that was one of the best decisions ever, cause this thing really rocks. Now in the package there is a moisture proof mat, a very nice manual in a paper form which covers everything from security information, product introduction, daily maintenance and so on. Next there is a water tank with the two floor mops and with the four filters which looks like this. And in this box there is an AC cord and a spare washable HEPA filter. This is the dock charging station, it looks much smaller and compact compared to the first generation. It outputs 20 volts at 1.8 amps or 42 watt. And the last but not least is the Roborock itself. Now the second generation of Xiaomi Roborock comes with some upgrades like improved laser tracking, it can rise over 2 cm of thresholds, it can detect carpet automatically and increase suction, it has the floor map feature, slightly larger dustbin capacity with a washable HEPA filter. It comes with a more suction power, which is now 2000 PA. It has the rubber bumper, it's quieter. It has the improved Mi app, more firmer upgrades, and it has these three control buttons on the top for easy use without the app. When it comes to the battery, Roborock has a lithium battery with 5200 mAh. It can work for two and a half hours and clean spaces up to 250 square meters. Underneath is this washable rubber brush. We get some suspension on the wheels and the nice rubber tires. There is a four stairs detection sensor, side brush and the charging contacts. Main rubber brush is washable and very easy to access. Now for my first cleaning test, I measured the 50 grams of the cereal and I scattered them around the room on the random places and I start the rubber rack using the Mi app. And I wanna say that the cleaning mode here was on the balanced or the standard mode, not on the max power which I discovered later on. This test video was recorded on 12 December 2017 and since then Xiaomi released three more firmware upgrades for this vacuum cleaner. So it's a very cool to see that the company care about this product fixing the bugs and give it more feature as the now it's more smarter than before. As the Roborock clean, he maps the area using 360 degrees laser on the top and each 2 seconds he maps the area in an app too, so you can see in alive where the robot is, what he's doing, what is the status and what is the cleaning route, which is very cool. After 4 minutes cleaning was done and the Roborock returned to the dock station. I gotta say I was very surprised with the results. He picked it up almost everything. I found just a few crumbs right here next to this pipe, there, and I found one tiny one right here. And other than that, nothing. He really did a good job. Now let's check it out the dustbin. And I know that I opened this on the wrong side, but this was a three months ago and I didn't remember straight away. The camera was rolling, so there was not going back. With a little bit of shaking, I eventually made it and the old cereal was out of the dustbin. And the weight was 50 gram. How awesome is that? Next, I decided to try the mop and I pour water in a tank. But I didn't want to just mop the clean floor and the structure was clear that I should not use this vacuum cleaner when there is a liquid on the floor and that's exactly what I did. So I spill a little bit of milk on the floor and I start the zone cleaning. I didn't know how many times would need to vacuum and mop all the milk, so I select 3 times. Roborock survives this test and the floor was nice and clean. So if happens that your kid spill a little bit of water, juice or milk on the floor and the Roborock picks it up, don't freak out right away, it will most likely survive. HEPA filter won't let the water pass through, but keep in mind that the dustbin and the ceiling around the filter is not water resistant and too much of the water will eventually made out of the dustbin around the filter all the way to the motor and that can cause damage. You can use this vacuum cleaner even without the app, 
The middle button will start the cleaning process, the left button is for the zone clean and the right button will tell the robot go to the dock and charge. But with the app you will have much more settings and the feature and the first thing that you should do when you connect the Roborock with the app is to do the firmware upgrade, which takes around 5-10 till 10 minutes. In the app there is so much cool features, settings and useful information. On the main screen you can see the current status of Roborock, full map of your apartment, cleaning pad, battery go, battery level, cleaning time and area. You can make robot to start the cleaning, stop or go to dock or go to a specific place on the map and start cleaning from there. You can create zone and make Roborock to clean just that specific place up to three times in a row or simply you can drive it like the RC using remote controls or joystick if you want to play with it. In the settings you can select the noise level of voice command as well to download more voice command or set the time where not to clean and the keep voice down if you don't want to be disturbed. You can set the Roborock to automatically increase the suction when the text carpet. You can set time cleaning to schedule every day, repeat or to custom. And there is a selection of clean up power mode from quiet to max. In the care selection it tells you when to clean your filters, brush and sensor, how to do that and under the user manual and the maintains there is a tons of useful information and the video guides how the Roborock works and how to learn more about it. I never saw better made and a more useful user manual than this. Using the Roborock for the last 3 months makes life much easier. He's doing a great job keeping the apartment clean and since my life is pregnant and I have a cat too, it's very important to have a place clean. I scheduled the Roborock to clean every day in a specific time and we are very satisfied with it. With the new firmware upgrades and improved cleaning algorithm, it's even better than before. Now it cleans with a much better efficiency and the smarter cleaning pads. Of course Roborock must do a good job because our furry security guard never left him out of sight and he is trained to let me know if Roborock miss any crumbles on the carpet. Yeah, he is watching you Roborock. He is watching your every move. Packed with a 360 degrees laser on the top which constantly scans surroundings together with a 4 anti-drop sensor that detects cliffs edge sensor who detects walls on the sides and the front laser sensor combined with a front collision sensor in a front bumper, Roborock knows exactly where he is and what he's doing. The battery is a long lasting so in one charge it can clean almost two and a half hours and when the battery drops to 20% Roborock will pause the cleaning, go to the dock, charge and then when the battery is 80% charge he will go again to finish that last task and then he will go to the dock again. For all tasks you will get the voice and app notification so it's a very smart machine. Having the cat around will not make Roborock to step away or slow down in his job since he is a very determined. But still our furry friend still supervises every cleaning process. For the most of the time I have set the cleaning suction to balance mode and I turn out the carpet mode. So when the Roborox detects the carpet, he increases suction automatically and I don't need to use the Turbo or the Max mode very often. Of course, that depends on the Season 2 and my hairy friend. Removing the dustbin, it's very easy and straightforward, as well the main brush, who is constantly full of my wife's hair and the hair of my furry family member, who is supervising every cleaning of Roborock. You, my friend, are going to be shaved and wrap in a cellophane. Just kidding. With the supply tool was not too bad and I was able to remove all the hair pretty easy. Dustbin opens here and with a few shakes it's empty pretty quick. So you can use it a few times before you wash it. And when you do wash it, just use the water and avoid using some sharp objects and don't forget to clean the ceiling around the dustbin to extend the lifespan. Then leave it for the few hours to dry on the heat element. Now when it comes to the obstacles, Roborock dries over my cables very easy, it climbed to our 2cm carpet without a problem and he was never stuck. I think he figured out who is the source of all of these hairs in the house and wished to deal with it, but it seems that he needs some sneaking skills since the cat always run away. Maybe in the next firmware upgrade the new cat cleaning program will be included. Until that, our Russian Blue is more dominant and it's clearly showing who is the boss in the house? Well, almost. 
Alright guys, I hope that you find this video useful and fun. I laughed so much when I was doing this video review. Anyway, I think the Roborock S50 is awesome and I'll leave links in the video description if you wanna check it out. Don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe. Until next time, take care and bye bye.